In this video, we're going to learn about the new React DOM in Expo Native Apps feature. You can now use React DOM components directly inside of Expo. It's basically a way to write React code directly inside of Expo. And on the back end, what's happening is it's really using the React Native web view package. It's as if you're rendering a web view inside of your app, but instead of using a URL or something like that, you can just write the React code directly inside of the DOM component. And all you have to do is add use DOM at the top of the screen to make a component a DOM component. Then you can start using it as if it's a React component. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure to NPX Expo install React Native Web View because again, in the background, use DOM components are really using React Native Web View. After you've installed Web View, Whenever you want to create a DOM component, you can just put use DOM at the top of the component. And one of the really cool things about this is you can pass down props into the web view, into the DOM component. So say you want to say, hello, your name. In whatever Expo screen you're importing your DOM component to, you can pass in the prop. So for example, name Europa. And then when you go to the app page and it renders this DOM component, it will say, hello, Europa. I'm gonna try this out in my own code. This is an Expo 52 app I just created. In some recent videos, I showed you how to set up push notifications using nativenotify.com. I also showed how to create a development build. I went in depth on how Expo navigation works. I'll link all of those videos in the description below. In the navigation video, I showed you how to create tab navigation using this tabs group. This explore page is the page you see right here. Within the tabs group, I'm gonna create a new page and I'm just gonna call it DOM. I'm gonna go to my layout within the tabs directory specifically. I'm gonna create another screen just called DOM and I'll give it one of these default icons that comes with the app that's created when you NPX create Expo app. Now I'm gonna come back here and copy this use DOM code that they created. I'm gonna put that in my DOM code. I'm gonna refresh the app to make sure the DOM navigation appears in my app. So I actually did not do it the way that they told me to do it, which was to import the DOM into a file. I'm gonna see what happens if I don't follow the instruction. Okay, and it still is there. As you can see, hello with name, which is currently an empty value is there. Let's see if I can add a value for name. I'm gonna say universe and delete this for now. All right, so as you can see, you really can use this just like React. So if you didn't want to import this, you can just create a DOM component, make that the screen. So I just created a new DOM screen, but let's say we want to do it the way they told us to do it, to import it, just so I can show you how you can import props. I'm going to create a new folder called DOM components, where I'll save my DOM components inside of. Within this folder, you can name it whatever you normally would name your components. So I'm going to uppercase it and say DOM component. Uh, TSX. I'm going to come back here and copy the code they have in their documentation. Come to the new DOM component. I'll paste it there just like they have it. And now in my DOM page, I'll do it the right way. I'm going to import my DOM component from that folder. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Actually, I'll leave that there and I'll just change this to return the DOM component and I will put the name as a prop here. Okay, and the issue here is I accidentally named the two the same. So I'm gonna change this name to DOM screen. All right, now let's see if that worked. And it did. Now this next part, web view props, you might be a little confused as to what they're talking about here. It's saying you can pass props to the underlying native web view. What this is talking about is in a normal app, if you're using a web view component from React Native Web View, there are all of these built-in props with that component. What it's saying is if you want to use any of these built-in web view props, you can with DOM components because again, DOM components are really React Native web views, but you have to do something kind of funny. You have to add in a DOM key with import expo slash dom dot dom props. 
you have to first do that in the DOM component that you want to use the props for. And you can come here, you can keep your name prop there. And then for the second object, you can put a semicolon here, put that there with a semicolon. After you do that, you now have access to the DOM, to the web view props, and you can put things like scroll enabled false. Another really cool thing about DOM components is you can use components from the Expo router. So for example, you can import a link. I'm gonna go ahead and come to my DOM component and underneath use DOM, you can import things just like you would in an Expo app or a React app. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this link href about. I actually have an about page, I believe. Let me check. Actually, I do not. I'm gonna change that to say explore. And as you saw, it made the red error underline go away. All right, I'm gonna try this out now. Click this about link and I'll actually change that to explore. So it's less confusing. I'll click explore. And as you can see, it took me to the explore page. So that's one of the really cool things about DOM components. Even though you're using like React, you can still use Expo router components inside of what's like React code. It's specifically the Expo router APIs. So things like link, use router. So you need to be using Expo router in order to be using Expo router components inside of DOM components. And it's specifically the navigation components. Other APIs that synchronously return routing info, such as these components, use path name, they are not supported, it specifically says. So you would have to, if you want to use them inside of a DOM component, you still can, but you would have to do something like this, const path name, use path name, and then pass it down as a prop into the component. It won't directly work inside of the component itself. It has to be a prop that you pass in. It also mentions router can go back is not supported. Can di dismiss is not supported. It says to avoid using a tags. So if you're using DOM components, don't use a tags. Instead, use the link component that comes with the Expo router. Also in a DOM component, if you want to link outside of your app, it says to default to web browser if you want to present external websites. And that is an overview of how Expo DOM components work. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. I think this is really awesome. It would be great if we could see a future where you could basically just write React code and that React code universally works as website code, app code. I personally think that would be awesome. But what do you think? Do you not like this direction of kind of blending React? Do you like this direction of where you can basically write React code as your Expo app now? Or do you prefer having a separate experience where you have to write Expo React Native code? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't already, check out nativenotify.com. It's by far the simplest way to send push notifications. You can literally be set up in under two minutes. All you have to do is npm install native notify, import the register in and push token function, and paste that at the top of your app or index page, and push notifications are already set up. I also mentioned in a recent video that that's actually all you have to do to set up analytics as well. So if you set up push notifications, you'll automatically have analytics set up as well. You'll be able to see how many daily active users you have, weekly active users, and monthly active users. You'll be able to see how many total views you have each day and how many unique views you have each day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.